so welcome to another weekend vlog i'm starting off this vlog with some painting so um yeah so if you're new here welcome and if you're not new here welcome back thank you please subscribe if you like this video already <laughs> give it a thumbs up but yeah so welcome to the vlog i'm starting the vlog off with some painting woo -woo. so my last vlog at the end i showed you the painting that i was working on and it's finished so here it is I love it so much. Like, I'm so in love with these texturized paintings now. So, I'm doing another one. So, you guys already seen this painting in a previous vlog that I did. Where I was using a molding paste. But I ended up getting the brand's light molding paste. And it gave me, like, it's, it's lighter. It's more, it's, it's, like, easy to build up. And I just like it a lot. Ooh, y'all can't see me. So I'm doing that. I'm going to um, do something different on here. And yeah, I just really like painting. So um, I, when I posted my paintings and stuff on Instagram, a lot of people kept asking me like, how do I do it? How do I do it? So I am an amateur, <laughs> um, but I did make an Amazon store. My, on my Amazon storefront, I have a weed paint list where you can speak, find all the products I have used, including the uh, light molding paste. So yeah, you can go on there um, and look at the price. So this was like 60 something dollars for this big container where I seen it on Michael's and it was like $110. So it was significantly cheaper on Amazon, but you can always price check anywhere else if you want to. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna use this spatula to go over, over everything. So I am not a, um, like, I'm just, I'm an amateur. I'm just doing painting and stuff like that because it makes me happy. I really enjoy the process just as much as I enjoy the outcome. So I really like doing my own paintings in my own home. I'm, doing, I'm trying to do this thing where all the paintings and all the artwork in my home, I might have already said that in another vlog, but they're basically all by me. And I started painting in 2020. And this was like a huge transitional year for me. So this was when um, I had finished residency where res residency was very challenging. I learned a lot clinically, but to be honest, I didn't have the best um, social experience. Um, uh, I was kind of lacking in the friend area during residency. Like I had friends, but just not in the, my vicinity where I was at. And um, yeah, I just didn't. I just didn't have the best social experience. But I definitely learned a lot. So I came from out of that, jumping into being a professor, being the attending pharmacist, where you know residents and students were coming to me, and during like a pandemic like that was challenging so i needed to have something to i don't know something that would that would make me happy i guess or i don't know something to i guess distract me um and it did so when i went to my co-resident so my previous co-resident dr ray like ugh, i love her so much so she was my co-resident during my first year, and we are really, really close. Um, so yeah, I love her so much. Anywho, she introduced me into this painting and this texturized stuff and things like that during a trip that I had taken down to visit her, and it was wonderful. Like I made the uh, foundation painting that I call it, or some people call it the Be Okay painting, where I wanted the um, painting color to match my foundation so that came out wonderful and it was just like I enjoyed the experience just as much as I enjoyed the outcome so I realized like wow I really do like painting so I just continue to do it so I'm just gonna um, do this one over I'll let you guys know like how it turns out probably in a future vlog I probably won't finish this this weekend but yeah that was a long intro anyways happy friday <laughs> I 
just got done um, washing my hair and I braided it up and um, I'm going to run some errands and I don't feel like sewing on my regular U part wig that I put on. So I'm going to put on this U part wig that I made a long time ago. I had it for definitely more than three years um, using Snot Life hair. I put these little clips on here so I can clip it on and off really quick. So I'm going to just throw this on because like I got to get out the house now. And although sewing on a wig doesn't take me long, maybe it takes me 15 minutes. I don't really want to wait more, 15 more minutes because it is getting later in the day. And I'm like a person who likes to run my errands early. So if it gets like after 1 p.m., I'm like, the day is over. Like I might as well just stay in the house. <laughs> so I just need to get outside. So I'm just going to hurry up and put um, this wick on. I'm just clipping it on. And then I do have my leave out out, but I'm not even going to straighten that. Um, I'm just going to put a hat on. So I don't even have to worry about straightening my hair. Yeah, all my new parts that I've been showing you guys in these vlogs um, are the made from the hair from Snop Life most, for the most part. I usually say what type of hair I have in. So, but yeah, this is, this was the 16 inch Brazilian wavy and obviously I got it cut. I'm gonna put my professor hat on from Carbon Copy. Super cute, I'll link it below. So yeah, this is my outfit. I don't have any makeup on. I'm just gonna run outside. Okay, let me bring y'all over here. Like, it's just so convenient. Like... Okay, all right, so hat carbon copy professor period and then period oh my niece is running off rubbing off on me this is my hair so cute and then i have my bag amazon it's linked in my amazon storefront then i have this dress on from marquise or maybe it's marcus um made up um i'll link it below if it's still a, a, available please forgive me if i pronounced it incorrectly but it's super cute. It's like asymmetrical. So, shoes, urban outfitters. So yeah, this is the fit for running some errands. I'll do like a long way too, so you, you guys can get the whole picture, but yeah, let's go. So I couldn't find any flat hands, but I came over to here to these cool blow dryers. So it looks like someone tried to use that one already. But then I see this cute pink one here. This is cute. Never heard of it before though. And then this one looks like a cool one. Don't know what that means. I heard of cryotherapy. So something about being cold. And it probably like makes your hair feel will look really shiny because sometimes they say condition your hair and rinse it out with cold water to make it look shiny after. So maybe it helps with that. But anyhow, so let me go over back to the flat iron. So I have video that cut off. But yeah, I couldn't find any one inch, um, less than one inch. So there's a whole bunch of one inch ones and a whole bunch of colors here. Y'all, I just want y'all to know I parked in literally the last spot in the parking lot of Target. And all these spots around this lady parked right next to me. What's wrong with us humans? <laughs> we, we could never give each other space. Like, anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what I got from Ulta. Um, I tried to film in there, but it's just, I don't know. Like, people be all up, but yes, people do be all up on you. I have my glasses on so I could uh, see. And I be taking them off when I'm not driving. But yeah, let me, so let me show y'all what I got. I went in there for a fly iron, but... Um, I couldn't find the one I wanted. Like I wanted a half inch or something like that, but there wasn't one in there. So I had to go, I guess I'm gonna have to go on Amazon. Like I want something that's gonna grip my edges, but couldn't find it. And I'm just getting this Morphe, um, the Morphe Mist. What is it? Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really like it because it 
gives you like a matte look while locking you in. So I use this in a MAC Finish Fix, MAC Fix Plus spray at the end. And then um, here, I'm also going to try out this new mascara from Tarte. Like, look at this girl's lashes on there. Can y'all see? I don't know if y'all can see good. Yeah. Oh, look at my bump. I'm off. See, I shouldn't even say that because it won't draw attention. Anywho, I'm about to go into Target. I got to brace myself because <sighs> Target is sometimes overwhelming. I, I know everybody loves Target and I like Target too. But it just be the parking lot and getting through the people. Like, I be having to brace myself for it. But, yeah, I'm about to go in there see what they have for home decor. And then I'm also going to try to get another. Um, I want to get an electronic too fresh. Because the one I had bought a while ago is, like, that. I had it for, like, a real long time. So, yeah, now I'm going to get another one. Yeah. Y'all, so, I'm in home goods. I put my mask on. But the joke's really on me because I didn't even go into Target. And I'm like, so I was like, oh, I can just go to the mall and charge my car. Then go to Best Buy and get the toothbrush. Girl, why is Best Buy gone? <laughs> this is permanently closed. So, <sighs> so I'm just charging my car. I'm going to, um, so I actually text one of my friends who's an orthodontist asking him what's the best toothbrush under a hundred dollars the electronic toothbrush if he gives me an answer i'll link it down below y'all um if y'all was on the market for electronic toothbrush so i'm just gonna get off amazon so right now i'm in um home goods i'm looking at these mirrors so my phone doesn't have like a flip option so i gotta turn around i'm trying to figure out what i want to do um, on the opposite side of that gray painting that I painted, like on the other side of the wall. I don't know if I want to do a mirror, nothing, or like a painting, but I feel like something needs to go there to even open up the space even more. But these mirrors here seem pretty small. This is the biggest one I've seen so far. And I think there is a big mirror from Ikea that I already have in my bedroom. But I don't want one like that. I want one that's kind of like round and a little bit more like, I don't know, like more elevated. I, I don't know what I'm, the, the term I'm trying to look for. But I'm not finding it here because everything has sharp edges. And I want the frame to be like rounded edges. So, yeah. But there's nothing else that I really want in here. I'm really trying to like limit my spending. So if I don't like love it love it or like i really don't need something like that i'm not buying it so i'm just literally wasting time and i'm gonna go to the bathroom Ooh, i'm gonna get boba hey y'all so it's saturday night i'm about to go out with some friends i don't even know how i feel about my outfit but we're just gonna go with it because i'm running behind but this is my makeup simple makeup that i do all the time um, my mascara, no lashes. I didn't try the new mascara yet, yet because I left it on the car on accident. So I'll try that another time. What I'm wearing, girl, this t-shirt is from H&M. I done cut it, sliced it up because it was like all the way up here. And because I have a bigger bust, I like to cut it and show a little bit of neck so my, you know, my, I don't look as full on top. And, um... Yeah, just a white t-shirt. Then my skirt. This is originally from Zara's, but I got it from eBay because they ran out of my size. And I had the jacket that will look so cute with this, but I think it may be too hot for that. So I'm just going to wear this top. I think it's just this top I don't really care for. It's not as like structured as I want it to be, but I want to be more chilled tonight. As y'all noticed, like, I don't really wear that many t-shirts. But anywho, my shoes... Urban Outfitter. I'll put a little thing on the side. Jewelry, um, ear earrings, piercing pagoda, professor necklace, carbon copy, and then my S initial necklace from uh, Amazon. And then I'm gonna wear my Amazon bag. So it's a real chill night, nothing crazy. That's why I'm chill. But let me show y'all the jacket so y'all can see. Okay. 
Okay, so I was like, so I was thinking of wearing this other skirt. So this skirt from Broken Land, and it looked cute too, but the thing is, it's not the skirt that's throwing me off. It's this top, and I just don't have any other tops to wear. That's what I need to buy, but cute, right? Cute. Um, all of my like tops are dirty. Actually, I have this white top here. I might put on real quick. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's time to go. But this is the jacket that come that came as a. It's separate, but it like it go together real bad. <laughs> but like, I will wear this. I probably wouldn't wear no t-shirt underneath. And then um. This is cute, right? Like it's so polished and you know, this will be like this. It'll be like a little dress and stuff. Here's the back. But girl, I'm already sweating so I can't wear this jacket. And yeah, so I'm just gonna wear this shirt. Maybe put my hair in front of it or something. Maybe that'll do a little something distract me a little bit yeah I think that's better I like my hair behind <laughs> anyways I'm late y'all so I'll do like a little video on the side here of the whole outfit it's just like maybe because it's white it's making me look real busty right now mm-hmm I don't know. Anyway, let me strike a pose for y'all. Oh, it's cute. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. Bye. Hey, y'all. Happy Sunday. So, it's like later on in the day. <sighs> I just spent this morning literally studying, like, um, scrambling my lifestyle. <laughs> but I had so much fun last night. Oh, by the way, so I asked my orthodontist friend what toothbrush he recommend, and he basically said, it doesn't even matter, they're all the same. And I said, oh, so no recommendation, y'all, they're all the same. Just got to do your technique. But I wanted to show y'all some stuff that I got. So there's these shoes I got from Amazon. Let me unwrap them because this wrapper is loud. Sorry, y'all. Oh my gosh, I was so loud. So I ended up getting these shoes off of Amazon. They are these platform uh, loafers. So, um, so my shoes for clinic. So on Instagram, I do like my daily um, outfits of the day when I go to uh, work and stuff. And so I typically have my clinic shoes, which are these super cute coach um, pointy toe heels. The heel is about one to two inches. Sorry, y'all, there's a motorcycle coming through. I think there was like some type of motorcycle event this weekend because I've seen a lot of um, like motorcycles together like that. Uh, I don't want to say a gang because I don't know if that's the term you're supposed to use, but it was like a group, a community. And they were like doing a show or something. They actually looked pretty cool. So anywho, they're, these are the shoes because I wanted something black, first of all. Why they got a dent like that? They really tossed my shoes around. But they're cute, right? Something to wear to work. Because I just wanted some black, like, heel shoes. Because my other shoes are the Tory Burch ones. Um, like the flats. And they're comfy. But I don't know. I just like, a, I like having a little bit of a height, you know, in clinic. So these are the size, uh, 30, they say size 39 on here. Um... I'm mad they tore my shoes up like that. Okay, so these are the 39. I'm gonna show y'all in a second. I'll do a little video on this side. Um, okay, first of all, the tip of my toe is hitting the top of the shoe. And I think it's because the shoe is turned up at the top. I mean, they're cute. 
I think I need a, I think I need a size up. Um, they're not worth it to put on my Amazon list. I don't think so. <sighs> I hate returning stuff when it's through mail because it's just, I want it now. Anywho, oh, I guess I'll do a close-up if I didn't show it, but here's the shoe. I can't believe they came and smashed like that. They're cute, but I think the reason why my toe is hitting the top because it's curved up. Y'all see that curve there? Like, if it was just flat, it would have been the size I needed, but whatever. My other outfit is from, well, the other thing I got is from, um... Dawes Kale. So this is the first time I ordered from this kind of 20% off thing. Um, so let me open it. I ended up getting a skirt. Hold on, y'all. It's loud when I unwrap it. So this is uh one that's like their tennis skirt. I end up getting it in this size large. All right, let me put it on real quick. Let me turn it on this way. Can y'all see me? Move this trash out y'all way so y'all not looking at that. <laughs> but this is the skirt. Um, so I'll, this is the first time I ordered from this company. It's like um, they have more like, I don't know. So it's like rock star, like punk rock type of look. They have like cute stuff on there. Um, but this is the first time I order. I got a size large. I would say, like, this skirt is cutting it close for a size large. So, the good thing is this skirt does come with an under. Like, it has shorts underneath. But this is it, y'all. Um, thank goodness I ain't trying to get a medium. But, yeah. Cute little skirt, so I'll probably wear it um, next week or something like that. Um, and then what else did I get? I forgot how much I paid for this, but it's called the Onyx Just Like Candy Pleated Skirt. Do I have a receipt in here? Um, okay, so this was $30. And I ordered it on Wednesday, and then I got it in the mail last week sometime. I don't remember what exact day, but today's like whatever day, 13th, 14th or something like that. So it came and uh, came pretty quickly. I think it took like a week or so. Um, so yeah, I'm hot. Let me try the other skirt I got on. So let me open this. So this one is the large pink, what's this skirt called? Seen you before mini skirt. I got in a size large. It was $14.96. Now on the website, um, I really like how they have, uh, oh, this one doesn't have a skirt, but it does have a, a liner. So on the website, it looked more like Barbie pink, but this is more like, magenta like magenta maybe like a purple type of pink but it's just a typical typical a-line skirt and it has splits there so let me put it on y'all this skirt is entirely too little um so i'm gonna show y'all <laughs> uh yeah so again this is the large um it is very tight like, I, I get people like that look, but me, I don't like my stuff to feel tight because I want to feel comfortable. But yeah, it's tight. This is what the black back looks like. And then this is the side, it has a slat, side uh, slit. So, I mean, it's cute, but it's like hugging my stomach right there. It's just like, I wouldn't feel comfortable all day sitting in that. I would probably keep tugging at my skirt and stuff like that. Let me turn y'all over here. Those eyes, those lights is too bright for my eye right now. <sighs> oh, I'm tired just trying that stuff off on. So basically it was, I got stuff that I don't really feel 100% about. So the skirt, I may keep this. So this is the thing, like, 
my waist fit stuff, but it's like my bottom that really determines if an item is going to fit or not. So that's why I typically upsize and then I get my seamstress to take in the waist. But like, I, I don't want to do that all the time. I just want to buy something and wear it, you know? But the bra, the pain, the agony. But it is a cute skirt, so I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna keep everything. Cause I don't even know if this pink skirt I can return. I'm not sure. Um, but I don't even know if it's free returns or not because it's like this skirt was $15. Do I wanna pay money to return it or do I wanna just give it to somebody? And then these shoes, I'm definitely exchanging for a different size. I'll size up just so my, my toe doesn't hit. It's like my nail is hitting it, not necessarily my toe. So, yeah. And I want them to be comfortable, so I am going to size up because I do like this heel here. Anywho, y'all, so that's the end of this weekend vlog. I'm just going to chill for a bit, relax, eat something, and then go to sleep, I guess. But it's nighttime. <laughs> Anywho, I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see y'all next weekend. Peace and love.